Welcome to Google Developers Weekly for October 28, 2013. I'm Lewis Gray, and this is our highlight reel of what's happening in the world of Google Developers, on the set and off. As an innovator, you want to protect your work and your inventions. In the first episode of Root Access this week, Don Dodge talks about New Zealand's move to ban software patents, how Skunkworks projects and big companies operate, and takes questions from viewers. But as you no doubt know, big ideas don't always result in big results. In addition to hard work and innovation, sometimes you need to be lucky. I joined Don to talk about the intersection of skill and luck and how companies need to constantly be aware of changes in the market to deliver what customers want. From Berlin, Martin Gorner is back for another episode in the SQL versus no SQL debate with guest Nacho Coloma, the CTO of Coliseo and author of SimpleDS. The pair offer tips and tricks to help you tackle new no SQL databases such as the App Engine Data Store. And from New York, Ikai Lan shows us the tricks he uses to debug OAuth token issues in the YouTube API. He demonstrates how to use our token info tool, as well as some tricks for using the OAuth playground for debugging. And heavy page weight is bad for your bandwidth belt, especially when you're browsing the web on a mobile device. Colt McCandless, resident web performance hacker, tells us about new and exciting ways to compress CSS, JSON, HTML, XML, and JavaScript data on the web, and how GZIP sometimes helps but can also get in the way. And then we take GDL on the road to the San Francisco office of app.net, where Googler Brett Slatkin talks with Dalton Caldwell about their platform as a service offering and how it differentiates from others in the market. From our Android friends, we saw a pair of shows last week. First, the Android design team, consisting of Nick Butcher, Adam Koch, and Roman Nurek, took the time to deliver some best practices on how to show photos and thumbnails in your apps. Bruno Oliveira followed on with part three of his Play Game series, focused on threading and lifecycle management. And a few months ago, we announced Google was making the CardDAV contact standard available to all users. Now we've added some cool features, including big, high-resolution photos, improved battery life and data usage, and more. There's also a new developer doc you can check out at developers.google.com. Also, for AdWords API users, we announced that flexible bidding strategies have now graduated from beta. This feature enables you to set up your bidding strategies and share them among campaigns and ad groups. You can also learn more on the AdWords API documentation on developers.google.com. And to make sure that you never miss a thing from the world of Google developers, subscribe to Google Developers on YouTube and check out the GDL schedule at developers.google.com live. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'll see you here in the studio.